Welcome to your daily double reading. Today we will be using the Crystal Inspiration deck along with the DC Tarot to get two card combos for you to choose from for your message today. So let's get into it. Start with the Daily Crystal Inspiration. So daily double reading, they're quick readings to help provide you with a message or a piece of insight or direction for your day. There's one. Always trust your intuition, even as I am shuffling, you can be asking to be led to, pulled to, nudged to the card coupling that is right for you or is going to provide you with the message that you need to hear today. All right, let's shuffle up the DC tarot now. Group one, please. I see it, I see it. They, they're like, you almost missed it. There we go. <laughs> All right, we've got group one and group number two. Once you have made your selection, feel free to head down to the description and click on the timestamp that goes along with your choice, your card combo pick, and that will send you right to your daily double reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo. So let's see what your cards have to tell you today. Fluorite and find peace within. Fluorite is a beautiful stone. It comes in like a multitude of colors. This one is depicted with like all of the different uh, fluorite colors here. So mm, I'm just getting this feeling that you're on this path already. You may have been seeking peace uh, about a certain situation or something that you're worrying about, something to that effect. Um, you can use the fluorite in order to find peace in your work, in a relationship, especially they're saying in your mind. So maybe your mind has been overactive and you really just want to let something go. Today they're telling you that you have the ability to do that. So I hope that you know that already. Let's see what the tarot card is. Oh my goodness, of course, yeah. You're already on this right track. This is the Four of Swords. This card is the peace of mind card. And I, in my head, I literally was like, are you gonna, is this the four, like, are you gonna give them the peace of mind card? <laughs> and bingo, here it is, crazy, right? So spirit is doubling down on this message for you, group one. If you are wondering if peace of mind is coming, most certainly it is. If you are wondering what to do in a certain situation that has been worrying you or you've been stressing out about or has been like going over and over and over like a broken record in your mind, what they're telling you with this combination is is you need to be able to get to a place where you can um, put it away or set it, stop thinking about it. The Four of Swords is about rest, resting your mind, right? And finding peace within. As you rest, you are able to then open up space for the insights that you need to bring that peace of mind into your life or into your consciousness. So it's about stopping for a bit you know, do not continue to try to figure it out. This card combination, again, is a double down from spirit. Whatever's going on in your head, group one, they're like, the peace that you're gonna find is not through thinking about it at all. Take a nap, take a rest, take some time off, go do something else, stop thinking about it. It's not gonna serve you. What will serve you is to open up your mind and then you see how the sword is laid here on the bottom? You get the insight by resting. It opens up your mind and allows you to recognize or be, or channel in something, be, become aware of something that you will never be aware of if you keep thinking about it. So today is not a day to stress out. Today is a day to do something else. Do something that's peaceful. Or like I said, take that nap, rest your mind, and before you know it, you may just find that peace that you are looking for. If you can take a nap with some fluorite, <laughs> that will probably be helpful for you as well today. Uh, group one, I hope this serves you. Your peace is available for you without a shadow of a doubt with this card combo. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't wanna miss any future readings, then you know what to do, and I will see you in the next Daily Double.
Hello group two and welcome to your daily double reading. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo. So let's see what the message is for you today. Mm, Ocean Jasper and schedule yourself in. There was a similar message uh, recently in one of these daily doubles. This is about prioritizing yourself, making yourself a priority, uh, recognizing where it is that you may need to claim some of your time back is what they just said verbatim. Claim some of your time back. Uh, group number two. So if you have been kind of busy, 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 putting everybody's needs in front of your own, making sure everybody's got everything they need um, and not asking yourself or stopping for a moment to ask yourself, what do I need? What will serve me? Uh, what does my mind need? My heart need? My energy? What does my body need? Um, this today is telling you that you need to probably take a bit of, it doesn't have to be all day, of course, but a bit of time to uh, meet your own needs. Let's see what we have for a coupling card. Ace of Wands, yeah. This is like a, a fiery new beginning energy, a new idea. Um, what they're really saying is, what do you, what are you passionate about? Um, what is it that you want to do, right? What does your energy say? What does your energy need? Maybe it's time to shift the way you schedule yourself in altogether with an Ace of Wands, which is an Ace of Fire. Um, but it definitely needs to uh, take into consideration your particular energy start something new, ask yourself and listen to what it is that is calling you. I feel like you've probably been a bit overwhelmed lately with, you know, maybe work, family, um, other people's needs, deadlines, just the, you know, regular tasks that we have to do every day, like the mundane tasks, grocery shopping, you know, uh, laundry, uh, cooking, you know, think, changing your batteries, I always say that, you gotta change batteries. Um, all of the things that need to get done, checking up on this person, getting back to that person. And today they're just really saying, please ask yourself what makes you feel passionate and lean into that. What are you inspired to do? Allow yourself to be open and go like, if I had an hour, what would I want to do? And there is, they just said, there is no wrong answer. Please schedule yourself in, make time for you today. Permission granted, uh, especially with the Ace of Wands, permission granted for anything you're inspired to do. I hope that this serves you. I hope you'll make time for yourself today, group two. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss future readings, you know what to do. And I will see you in the next Daily Double.